Okay. Hi guys, so uh, we'll just the straight away to uh, talk about papers lah kan. Eh? I try about review papers today uh, as promised. So uh, in my hands, I had the nine, spam, nine pampers that my baby already used. So, uh, I just nak put a disclaimer that I tak buy all of this uh, brand tau. Because biasalah newborn and people give. So, uh, I take the opportunity to try to, uh, on my baby nak tengok money and this is why lah. So, all the nine pampers that I already use, I dah list down. Uh, just add on dye packs lah sebab tadi I just book. Sebab I nak beli dry pro sebenarnya tapi dry pro dah... Habis dekat manjaku senawang ni. Manjaku baby mall. Lepas tu, I tengok dye pack saya pegang di sampel uh, tebal. So basically, uh, kalau nak beli papers ni is about... Um, excuse me, gata dah uh, Papers ni is about tebal dan lebar lah. Tengok, uh, tengok pada your baby punya condition. Kalau your baby punya skin tak... Uh, tak sensitif macam my baby Macam my baby Dia very sensitif uh, Dia Ada rashes around his uh, Kaki kan Around Ini sudah kangkang kan Lepas tu Teruk lah So I kena try and error Mana yang sesuai Sebab tadi pun I pergi check up dia sebulan And then doktor tengok badan dia Rashes semua So Doktor cakap, uh, I can just find out sendiri apa yang buatkan dia punya skin rahsia sama ada pampers, skin care, uh, susu ataupun baju ke apa. So, tak apa lagi, try and error. So, the first stage, I nak try and error buat pampers first. So, I found out that memang dia very sensitive with pampers yang macam contoh eh. Macam dry purse, my baby dia tak sesuai. Dia, I nak put, okay, before I cakap lebih panjang kan, I nak put disclaimer yang um, I bukan brand, I bukan macam orang kata, uh, I just uh, share my experience lah, bukan lah I nak, apa, nak cakap macam, Uh, ini brand ni sesuai untuk uh, semua baby. No, no. This one is based on my own experience and then I buat review lah kan. So macam my baby, dia tak sesuai dengan dry purse punya depan ni, part ni. Dia naik merah-merah yang macam berlepas dekat perut dia. So dry purse punya material ni I think quite um, quite kasar kot for baby baby eye lah. I tak sure kalau your baby jenis ada rasa mungkin dia akan merah ke. I tak tahu kalau if you have same experience so just share. Sebab sekarang I tengah find out uh, antiseptic product yang antibacterial product yang sesuai, organic product yang sesuai dengan dia. So I just bought lotion sebab mat. And then dok, tadi dia berdoktor pun doktor cakap uh, jangan mandikan dia dengan air, eh, dengan sabun yang berbuih sebab currently he's using purin. And then purin tak sesuai lah. So I dah stop purin and then I beli lotion sebab mat. So lepas mandi, air, air suam saya akan pakai kajian lotion. Ha, macam itulah. So, I tak tahu nak start the video how. Macam banyak gila uh, pampers. And then, um, kalau nak cakap satu-satu boleh lah. Tapi, sekejap. Um, so, macam okay. Actually, I fall in love with this pampers. This one call as nama dia lah. Offspring. Dekat website nama dia Offspring lah. And then this one featherless ultra thin offspring. Uh, you can get. Tapi boleh beli from the website only. Tak ada jual dekat kedai. Even dekat mana aku pun tak ada. I try cari. So this one very sweet with my baby. Surprisingly. This one is all I buy. I beli yang trial pack punya untuk try on my baby first lah. Sebab so, I perasan Pampers ni kalau dia lembut And then kalau dia uh, Lembut dan tebal Dia akan serap kencing dengan cepat So dia tak akan cause your baby rushes So uh, my baby pakai ni and it's very good lah I suka gila tapi uh, It's quite expensive brand lah Because you can only get it from the website And then dia pun macam dia marketing is very good lah. Macam kalau you beli the product and then um, macam mana nak cakap because okay this is from my point of view lah. Um, kalau you beli offerings pampers ni it's like you uh, kalau another brand punya macam kalau you mother 
Macam mana nak cakap ah? <laughs> dia macam ni. Um, dia punya marketing, I tengok macam dark sekarang punya marketing. I don't know whether uh, that one, the type of marketing macam flat layer semua tu is current, current punya marketing punya nak nampak benda tu very exclusive kan. I think so lah. So this one they use the uh, apa, flat layer punya. Selalu lah kalau you browse through your Facebook. So dia masih nampak very exclusive. And even the packaging. My my mum pun cakap benda yang sama lah macam oh exclusive ni packaging ni and then dia punya quality uh, mate pun memang very good. So kalau you beli this one, uh, I think it's around size S, active 4, around 61 ringgit 50 cent kot. So one pampers cost about 1 ringgit. And then it's quite expensive lah kan. Tapi kalau you okay to spend for on your baby, then okay lah. So this two is the same brand, just this one is the fashion one, this one yang kosong lah. You can check out from the website. Nanti I do tak dekat bawah lah. <coughs> and dry pro pun okay. Okay, I nak cerita pasal pampers yang look alike and maybe alternate kalau you suka offspring and then you tak nak beli tapi nak tunggu shipping lambat semua and then you boleh alternate other brand lah. This one is one of them. Okay, these two pampers yang offspring tu and this dye packs and this one dry pro. Kalau you pegang all this uh, these four papers, memang they are uh, quality made dia uh, almost the same. But of course, I like, offering ni lagi um, quality kan. Tapi, they all four ni, they all ni lah. Almost the same quality made. So, um, I don't think that kalau baby yang jenis sensitif, kalau dia tukar pakai between these three brand, Uh, takkan ada masalah rashes yang makin teruk lah. So, okay. Um, this one brand, Bosomi, I got from my cousin. Dia bagilah um, masa my baby uh, uh, baru lahir tu. So, this one is no newborn size. Tapi, it's very hard to get. I try cari somewhere macam from Facebook, blah blah blah. I Google somewhere yang tak ada. So, um, macam mana <laughs> nak beli pen, -pen susah nak dapat kan. So, I try, I paksa lah try yang lain. Then I dapat dye pack semua. Uh, so, alalang kita try and error lah kan. So, this one is Huggies uh, pants. Tapi my baby tak sesuai because dia rushes. Dia tak boleh yang um, macam terlalu banyak span macam ni. Dia tak boleh. Orang kulit sensitif ni. So, I tak boleh nak pakai dan Huggies. I mean yang pen type lah. Yang I cerita yang tadi tu semua. Uh, apa nama? Kita panggil tape type eh. Ha, tape type. So, Fiti, um, Fiti memang cheap. Tapi, the quality mate, kalau you tengok the pampers pun, it's not really quality. Bukan nak cakap dia tak quality. You can spend, kalau you sesuai, and then your baby tak kulit problem, tak ada masalah. So, bolehlah pakai. Pet pun, pet, pet pun okay. Tapi, dia macam kedut-kedut ni kan. So, far, I pakai pet pet tak bocor lah. Tapi, for the price, pet pet and dye packs, Um, harga almost the same Tapi pet-pet tengok dia macam kedut And dye packs relax dia punya Surface dia very smooth kan So Yang kelebek-kelebek tu yang pun main peranan tau Dalam penyerapan Kencing anak you so Kalau you dapat yang flat yang macam kemas Punya rekaan macam ni It's better to choose this kind of lah Because kalau dia macam ni, dia akan macam sekejap kencing tu tak berapa rata kan. So, dia tak berapa menyerap lah. This is my um, teori lah. I'm not sure uh, how it works, really works lah. Okay. So, I think that's all. I don't want to make the video very long. Sebab nanti kan tak ada siapa pun nak tengok. So, that's all 10 of my, eh, 9 of my, and uh, 9 of the pampers that I already used on my baby. So, so far, I think I can stick on the brand of Spring and Dye Packs and Dry Pro. Uh, so I can beli I akan beli of Spring what stock lah. Tapi kalau in case of Spring habis, and then I boleh alternate for alternate I use Dye Packs and uh, I think Dry Pro. So, this is the pampers lah. Dry Pro, Dye Packs and uh, Offspring. Tapi, I, I lebih suka Offspring yang 
tanpa-tanpa fashion sebab I nak tengok dia punya rashes tu makin kurang senang kan sebab dia putih. Ha, kalau macam macam corak-corak ni memang lagi you tengok cute corak on design apa semua tapi kalau you nak fokus on baby rashes better you pilih yang kosong macam ni lah. Tengok makin kurang tak rashes dia makin kurang tak kalau makin kurang that means the pampers works well uh, works well lah and then tak bagi efek apa-apa on your baby skin kan. Kalau nak talk about packaging Hmm, I mean about um, About printing kan I memang boleh cakap dry first win Sebab memang cantik gila Dia punya ni Tapi time baby tak sesuai <laughs> Kira I beli Dry first ni because of the pamper cantik lah Tapi uh, I thought cantik and it really works on my baby Tapi tak hmm, Baby lagi kot Tak apa my mom ada kat bawah So I think that's all I could I just sharing So kalau ada komen apa-apa, just leave the comment below lah so kita bincang macam how does it works on your baby, how does it work on apa, your baby skin kalau baby uh, and then kalau you ada idea on uh, skin care atau uh, orang panggil organic eh, antiseptic, I think antiseptic organic uh, brand apa, uh, apa uh, yang susah untuk baby yang ada sensitive skin, uh, comment on below so I nak try check the brand lah. Actually, I already survey few brand macam Cetaphil, but apa lagi? Ospring pun ada actually. Tapi I nak uh, Sebamed. So, tapi I nak um, I nak tengok lah siapa comment and then the experience macam mana. And tadi jumpa Dr. Pai dah dapat uh, ubat lah biasa ubat sapu. And then skincare, I nak jugalah skincare idea from you guys lah. So, I think that's all lah. Lama-lama sangat cakap pun nanti Nak upload pun susah. Okay, uh, that's all guys. Uh, thank you tengok video ni. So, apa komen dekat bawah lah. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Happy parenting.